Okay, this is an automated candlestick uh, pattern strategy. I traded this on Monday the 17th, uh, uh, October 2022 from the London Open. This is not exactly a bad result for a simple strategy made up of candlesticks, is it? However, before we launch into the strategy itself, let's take a look at what candlesticks are all about. There isn't a trading platform that doesn't offer this. Candlestick charts originated in Japan over a hundred years before the West developed the bar and point and figure charts. A Japanese guy named Homer came up with the candlestick charts after looking at how emotions played a part in the supply and demand and price of rice. That's enough of a history lesson from me. Now let's take a look at the structure of a candlestick. A candlestick uh, represents a specific time frame and gives data about the prices open, high, low and close during that particular period. Many algos are based on the same price information shown in a candlestick chart. Trading is often dictated by emotion, which can be read in candlestick charts. If you are a beginning trader, it would be a very good idea for you to understand the makeup of each particular candle because each candle is saying something basically the relationship between the buyers and the sellers for that particular time frame there are many different types of uh, candlesticks and candlestick patterns out there uh, with uh, some very interesting names such as Marabuzo, Hama, Hangman, Doji, Pier Bullish Piercing, Dark Cloud Cover. They are all very interesting and uh, all these can occur within a 24 hour period. And that doesn't mean that all of them are meaningful at any rate. Some candles are more meaningful at retracement points or at support and resistance. For this particular video, I'm focusing on candles which are likely to be found at support and resistance levels within a trading range. In this algo, I am looking at the bearish and bullish engulfing candlestick pattern the evening star and the three rising method and the three falling method. A bullish engulfing pattern is made up of two candlesticks. The first candle has to be a small bodied bearish candle. The second candle has to be a large bodied bullish candle that closes above the high or, or the open of the preceding bearish candle. This pattern is found at areas of support in an established downtrend. On the other hand, the bearish engulfing pattern is exactly the opposite of this and it's found in an established uptrend. Both of these signal a trend reversal, hence why they are part of this algo. In a bullish scenario, it shows that buyers are in control and vice versa in the bearish uh, scenario. The three rising methods or the three falling method. The three rising method is a bullish continuation pattern or a reversal pattern. It's made up of large bullish candle followed by three bearish candles which can be which are contained within the range of the prior bullish bar. The pattern is completed by a large range bullish bar that closes at the high or above the high of the prior bullish bar. On the flip side of this, you have the bearish pattern made up of two large bearish candles encompassing three small bodied bullish bars. The Morning Star. The Morning Star is a three bar pattern found in a downtrend signaling a possible reversal. 
The first bar is a bearish large bodied bar followed by a small bodied bullish candle that closes in the lower third of the previous bars range. This is then followed by a large bodied bullish uh, candle that closes near the high of the large bearish candle. On the other hand you have the evening star which is the exact opposite of this. This algo looks to trade the candlestick patterns when all the parameters are met. So for example, for a valid signal for a bullish engulfing entry, the MACD histogram needs to be above the zero line. The efficiency ratio must be above 35 and this must be either below or above the levels as indicated in the daily projection range indicator. The entry will be at the open of the next candle after the signal bar. I tend to trade uh, the London or the European Open basically because I'm expecting price to, uh, to test any of these pivot levels. So it's either it will test and reverse or break down. So in this case, I got a bullish engulfing candle uh, at around six o'clock Chicago time at this particular pivot level. And that would have been a good entry point and stay in the trade until the next pivot level. I also make use of uh, prior days high and prior days low as well as uh, yesterday's close as I think these are meaningful uh, price points within any particular day. They are likely to be tested at least once during the day. Hence why I included the engulfing pattern at pivot points in this particular algo. These are the various equity curves uh, that, that were achieved by the algo. This one is for the three rising and falling method. As you can see, it didn't perform very well on the lower time frames. However, it performed uh, quite well on the 60 minute chart. The signal doesn't occur that frequently. Uh, that's why the 60 minutes seems to be much smoother. This is the result of the bullish and bearish engulfing candles uh, over a 365 days period. As you can see, uh, it's not exactly a desirable equity curve on its own. When trading all three candlestick patterns uh, concurrently together with MACD and efficiency ratio, this is uh, the result I got. As you can see, it they performed better on the five minute time frame than on the 30 minute. The 15 minute uh, didn't work out so well. I don't have the equity curve here. Well, having said all this, uh, you can see that there is room for improvement and um, further optimization would definitely be needed and further backtesting just to be sure that uh, it works so if you are going to try this at all please do it in a demo just a reminder past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results the information I've given in this video contains neither trade recommendations or financial advice and therefore should not be construed as such it is presented solely for educational purposes.